Welcome to the Love and Sex Today Show with Dr. Doug Weiss. Doug has been healing hearts and relationships for decades. He's helped thousands of people release the shame and the guilt, restoring hope, helping people get free from addictions to enjoy a better sex and love life. Here he is, your host, Dr. Doug Weiss. Welcome to Love and Sex Today. I am Dr. Doug Weiss, and I am so excited to be your host for our 39 conversations, and I'm looking forward to hundreds of these. Today's topic is sex language number four, and if you have been following along these last few podcasts, you have been learning more about your sex language than you ever thought possible, and it comes right out of the book, Five Sex Languages, a great book for everyone to get, sit down with your spouse, and actually get a lot of great ideas on improving and having a fantastic sex life. Because sex is important. Like I tell my clients, if you're going to have sex, have great sex. You know. So I want you to go to loveandsextoday.com, subscribe there, and then also review us on iTunes. That really helps people find out about us, and it helps iTunes to know that we're alive and well as well. Now, if you go to the website and you review us on iTunes, one of you every month will be selected for a private conversation with myself, and we will have a great time and hopefully accelerate some area in your life. We love getting to know you and excited about that. Also, you can click a button there and ask your question. We're going to start having you guys on the show so that you can let your heart be known, let your questions be known, and we can answer answer real questions in real time for you. Now, also, there's a free chapter on the webpage, so there's usually some a book chapter, something I've written out of the many books I've written, and that will also be an encouragement to you. I am so excited. You can probably hear it in my voice. Sex language is one of my favorite topics to talk about. No one's ever written about this, that you have a sex language, that you have a, an innate way that sex is better for you, that you are designed and, and, and wired in a way that if your spouse or partner can tap into that, They can take your sexuality and you can take their sexuality to a whole nother dimension, a whole nother place, all the way from the sexual environment, the foreplay, the communication during, and the communication and connection afterwards. Imagine being able to make sex better from beginning to end. Well, that's what we've been talking about in the last few podcasts. Today, sex language number four, patience. Now, this is a totally different sex language. We've talked about fun. We've talked about pleasure. We've talked about several different types of sex language, but this one is its own. And I can tell you a lot of people have this one. I've been working with couples for almost 30 years, talking about sex, talking about them being compatible, how to make it better, how to make it work. That's how I discovered the five sex languages is in the laboratory of human relationships, trying to have a better sexuality, repairing sexuality from sexual trauma or from sexual addiction or from intimacy anorexia. People fly from all over the country and world, come do intensives with me and and counselors in my team. And we have learned so much. And so we're trying to share that with you. So let's get into patience. Because if you have not found yourself so far in the sex languages we've been talking about, you might find yourself today or you might be able for the first time to make sense as to why your spouse or partner's sex language, sexual preferences are so different than yours. They might seem incompatible if you're trying to make each other like each other, but they are able to be understood and you can actually celebrate instead of trying to control or minimize or label their sexuality in a negative way, which hinders you both from having a powerful sexuality. So let's get into this. Now, remember, I'm talking about the mature side of each sex language. Each one of these has an immature side. And that immature side is painful because the person's immature. Okay, if they have addictions, they might be immature. If they have no sexual education, if they're afraid to talk about sex, immaturity can manifest in every single sex language. So I'm going to be talking about the positive side, but there is kind of a shadow to every one of these if you're immature. So let's talk about this. Patience. This sex language wants to make time for 
sex. Great sex is spelled T-I-M-E with M-E. Time with me. Take your time with me. Quickies will not be exactly mm, appreciated, although they might happen. They won't be valued. They really want the time during sex. So like we talked about someone who wants fun in sex, okay? Someone wants to, who wants to be creative in sex. That's different. This is someone who wants time and sex. So you really have to, if this is you or this is your partner or spouse, you want to kind of make sure that you have got a front end and back end time because they're going to need that. Now, the other issue is they want time for each phase of sexuality. They want time in the invitation. They want time in the foreplay. So if you're one of those persons who wants to hurry up, but you're married to someone who they want 15 or 20 minutes, maybe more, touching their back, rubbing their feet, rubbing their body, playing with them, enjoying them. They don't want fast. They want light. They want slow. They want you to take your time and enjoy them. Because for them, you enjoying them over those many minutes has meaning and significance. So if you're married to someone like this, you're going to have to negotiate your sexual uh, experiences so that this is accommodated on a pretty regular basis. They, they really want the, the touch, usually light touch, and touching has value, especially over T-I-M-E, time. Remember, this person, their language is patience. It's the time you spend with them that has sexual meaning to them. When you are spending T-I-M-E, okay, which is patience for you, for sure, but it also, it, it's, it really demonstrates that, that touch has value, but that I am important. Not that sex is important. We'll get to that in about a half hour. I want to know, am I important to you? Do I have value all by myself? Okay. So the touching and the time it takes communicates that I am important. Patience is uh, really communicated by the gentleness. Okay. This is not usually someone who rough and creative is going to work. That's usually going to turn them off because it doesn't let them feel valued the way they're designed. Okay. So. One of the things that really makes a difference is taking time during foreplay to have words of gratitude. Very, very, very important during foreplay to be grateful for them. Speak those kind words into their heart. And also, even afterwards, you know, gratitude, okay, is really an important variable for whatever reason. Patient, sex language, people, they like that. Also, the pleasure is, is the time and the patience for them. It's just kind of some kind of mixture that makes them feel amazing. Now, if you have someone who's mature, this is going to, you can negotiate this. It makes sense. You can communicate in their language. They feel really loved and appreciated and valued over T I M E, time and touch. You put those together and they experience that patience sex language that you're being patient with. now even outside the bedroom you, if you've had someone be patient with you it really does communicate value and it communicates respect it communicates love if someone's wired for this it really makes it amazing now if they're immature i mean it can be all about you know, making demands and it has to be a certain way and a certain length of time and easily frustrated if you if you try to mess up the script and, and the script becomes very demanding, okay, that's the immature version. And same has to be every single time. That person is going to be immature because it's like, okay, we can only do this limited amount of sexual experiences. Outside of that, I'm not happy. Okay, now if you are a patient uh, sex language, you're going to have to negotiate with usually fun or pleasure. Usually those guys marry each other, okay? And you can see, imagine your, your fun and pleasure are 
you really want to be creative and, and do that, and you're married to someone who, on, on the immature side, it has to be the same. Okay? And, and they're not really flexible in their sexuality. Well, you're going to be in for some kind of collision at some point, especially over time, because for a while, years, you can probably kind of tolerate someone being kind of very rigid sexually, but over time, that's going to wear into the whole relationship. And it's going to send a message of, of being controlled by that person's personality sexually. And it's not what you want to do. What you want to do is be able to say, hey, this is me. I get who I am. And marriage is not about me. It's about we. So how do we take this, this orange and this banana and make it a smoothie? That's what marriage is in so many areas. You're different financially. Oftentimes, you're different emotionally, spiritually. Uh, you're different in many different ways. The temperatures you prefer, the foods you prefer, and you make a smoothie. That's what long-term relationships, that's what marriage is about. Really true as it relates to sex as well. I want you to go to loveandsextoday.com. Subscribe there. Please write a review in iTunes. I know it takes a couple minutes, but that will really help other people especially if these podcasts have meaning to you, that will really send the message that it was important for you to share your heart with the many people who read those reviews. One of you once a month will be selected for a private conversation. That's going to be fun. And we'll be able to get to some issue that you want to talk about, and maybe get some advantage on that issue. Also, remember, you can ask your questions on the website. Okay. And there's always a free chapter at loveandsextoday.com. So you want to get that for yourself. We really want to see you have incredible relationships. That's why we do this. That's why every day I want to spend time with you so that you can take uh, one step further, get, a, get an idea, get a paradigm that can really transform you or your relationship. Remember, always have great love and have great sex today. That's it for our episode of Love and Sex Today with Dr. Doug Weiss. Head on over to loveandsextoday.com and be sure to subscribe to the show on iTunes. When you do and you post a review on iTunes, some lucky listener is going to win every single month a private confidential coaching call with Dr. Doug Weiss. Also, feel free to ask any question you like. You can push a button, speak your question, and Dr. Doug will answer your question in a future episode. So be sure to subscribe to the show. Doug's got some great gifts for you, and we will look forward to seeing you next time.